Well, if I had to name my favourite episodes, they would probably be episode two of the first series where Nathan sleeps with who he thinks is a young girl and it turns out to be an 18 year old woman. End of series one where the gang battle the virtue movement and with Nathan's speech on the roof. We're screw ups. I'm a screw up. And I plan to be a screw up until my late 20s, maybe even my early 30s. And I will shag my own mother before I let her or anyone else take that away from me. The Simon Superdy stuff with Alicia in series two. And then some of the later episodes I really liked were things like the zombie noir story in series four, the death of Curtis, and I felt that really worked. I think the power still makes me smile when I think about it is probably lactokinesis the power to control dairy products. When we came up with that, I was always wanted to find a way to, to get it into an episode. And then finally did it at the end of series two, and it still makes me smile. Oh, I get the ideas for powers from lots of places. Things that pop into my head, things I see on the internet, just random thoughts, just a search for things that we can execute well and fits with the show and we can do it on our budget. So, you know, from things that people have said to me a million different places. From making Misfits, I suppose I've learned how hard it is sustaining the series, how sort of tough it is getting the sort of variety of stories across five series, and I think yeah, how hard it is to combine sort of genre with humour and drama and sort of combining those elements. Constantly learning about what does and doesn't work, and you know, you can get quicker writing the scripts, I suppose, because you know, you know how to do it. I'm sure even at the end of this series will be things I'll be thinking I should have done differently. Um, I think that's just the nature of the beast. Usually as a writer you, you write something and then when you watch it in the edit or wherever you think, oh god, this is you know, a painful process. I think Misfits has been one of the rare shows where it's been executed in such a way that you're actually happy with the final product. Looking back, if someone has said it had gone this well across five series, well, of course you know, I would have taken that. In Series 5 there's a superhero support group um, where people go to discuss their powers and we meet some new characters there, one of whom can knit the future. A lot of the serial arc revolves around jumpers. There's a tortoise. One of our regulars may or, or may not have sex with this tortoise. There's some returning characters. We've got Tim, who was the Grand Theft Auto guy from Series 2. He pops back up for a bit and there's a relationship between two of our regular characters, but it's not who you might expect. Just don't stop and stare. When, 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 when.